Thank you for tuning in to Outside Analysis. Today, we're looking at the coronavirus once again. Here is our February 4th, 2020 update. Let's go right to our numbers. On February 2nd, I told you there were 16,800 confirmed cases. Today is February 4th. There are 20,704 confirmed cases. And let's distinguish between the numbers for a moment. Now, when I say total confirmed cases, I mean cases that are being reported as confirmed for the coronavirus. There are 20,704 of those. However, there are over 100,000 estimated cases. Now you're wondering, where did I come up with this number, 100,000? Now this number was given to us by researchers in the United States and United Kingdom. And what they did is they took all the data from the virus up to January 22nd, which was quite a while ago when the virus was just starting out, and they put this data into a computer which can form a model on how the virus will spread. And this computer model came back and said that the number of infected could be between 30,000 and 200,000 cases. And this number is from the Imperial College of London, all right? And they're running reports on this virus at the Center for Global Infectious Disease Analysis. And remember, they're running this model based on old data when the virus was just starting out. So the numbers that they're getting are very, very outdated. They're when the virus was very, very young and wasn't present yet or hadn't spread very far. Let's take a step back for a moment and look at January 27th. On January 27th, we had 2,750 reported cases from China. However, we have this health expert, Neil Ferguson, from Imperial College, saying that the number of infected is not 2,750, it's rather in the tens of thousands. However, by this point, we have a computer model giving an estimate that it's actually between 30,000 to 200,000. And this is based on the data that they've gathered up to January 22nd, so relatively old data. Now, if we fast forward to February 4th, we now have over 20,700 reported cases from China, okay? However, what are our almost certainly values now? Do we use the tens of thousands that Professor Neil Ferguson previously provided us? Or has it changed since then? Has their estimate changed to be even, even larger? Um, and, and do we still use that 30,000 to 200,000 estimate that the computer models give us? That data for the computer model was taken from data prior to January 22nd. So is it still valid for February 4th? Again, I'm not a biologist or a health expert, so I'm not too certain. However, I'm just looking at the, the numbers here, and it seems like, we're, again, we're missing a little bit of information. So if we take a step back for a minute and actually look at the amount of confirmed cases, we see that there are 11 cases in the US right now and four cases in Canada. Now, the fourth case in Canada is very interesting, and I'm going to dive into it for a moment. We have a female university student, and she's in her 20s, and she arrives to Toronto on January 23rd from, you guessed it, Wuhan, China. And again, we know that this uh, virus is a very long incubation period, so at first she's asymptomatic, meaning that she doesn't know that she has the virus, she's not feeling a stuffy nose or sore throat or the symptoms that you usually feel right when you get a cold. So the next day, on January 24th, she starts feeling a little bit sick and she goes to the hospital and she tests negative. So here you are thinking that you have the coronavirus because you went to Wuhan and someone tells you, a health official, no, you know what, you're not infected, you're fine. But wait, <laughs> they run a second test at the laboratory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and then they confirm it is positive. So then they release a statement saying it's clear that they're learning more and more about the virus each day. Like the, the old saying goes, the more you know. So looking at a few online news articles, it's basically saying that the health officials are now struggling to understand the nature of the disease and specifically how to diagnose it. So if we're going to go off of the official amount of confirmed cases, um, we have four cases in Canada, right? And it seems like all these cases are actually people that have went to Wuhan themselves. The case on January 25th was the man in his 50s who arrived in Toronto from Wuhan. The case on January 26th was the wife of that man and she also flew back from Wuhan. Then we have that case on January 28th where a man in British Columbia in his 40s had the coronavirus after returning from China, which he goes to often for business. And then we have that case on February 4th, our most recent case, in which a woman returned from visiting her family in China in one of the infected regions. 
So it seems like every infected case so far was from someone that actually went to China and came back infected. However, I still think it's concerning that the incubation period is so long. I mean, how, how do we know that they didn't infect these people on the airplane they came back with? It would still be too soon to be seeing those infections spread. However, that's all we have time for today, folks. Thank you for tuning in. This has been the update on the coronavirus 2020, February 4th by Outside Analysis. Now, we are following this outbreak 24-7, so if you like the information you heard and you want to hear more, hit that subscribe button and you will automatically be notified when the next video comes out.